everyone today we are going to discuss important questions from the topic loss of motion if you are new to our channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video will be uploaded let us start with first question in this question it is said that two fixed frictionless inclined planes making an angle 30 degrees this one and 60 degrees this one with the vertical r shown in the figure two blocks block a and b are placed on the two planes that is block a is placed on this plane and block 2 is placed on this plane what is the relative vertical acceleration of a with respect to b for that we know that acceleration of a block a along vertical direction is given by g sin square theta here theta is equals to 60 degrees so i am substituting this 60 degrees here now we know that acceleration of this block b along vertical direction is given by g sin square 30 degrees we know that the relative vertical acceleration of a with respect to b is given by the difference between the acceleration of a and b sin 60 degrees is equals to root 3 by 2 if we square it it will become 3 by 4 and sin 30 is equals to 1 by 2 if we square it it will become 1 by 4 after subtracting this one remaining will be 1 by 2 and g is here if you substitute the value of g that is 9.81 in this equation the final answer will be 4.9 meters per second square this is the relative vertical acceleration of a with respect to b now let us move on to next question in this question it is said that there is a spring and it is cut into two parts with a and b the length of this one is la and the length of this one is lb and the ratio between these two is given 2 is to 3 then we have to find the stiffness of this spring we know that stiffness is inversely proportional to the length of the spring now we are comparing two springs it means that ka la is equals to kb lb now if I take this LA to this side, KA is equals to KB into LB upon LA. We can substitute the ratio of LB upon LA from the given question. So it will become KA is equals to 3 upon 2 KB. Now I can get KB value from this equation. KB is equals to 2 by 3 times KA. We know that total stiffness is equals to K which is equals to KA plus KB. Now if I substitute this KB into this one and solve it further, I will be getting KA is equals to 5 upon 2 K. So this is the stiffness of spring A. This question can be asked in many different ways. You should remember this one. Always stiffness is inversely proportional to length. Remember one short trick. If the spring is made into two equal parts, then stiffness of this part portion will be doubled that is if the spring is made into half two parts the stiffness will be doubled okay now let us move on to next question in this question it is said that there are two masses m1 and m2 which are passing over a inextensible string and the coefficient of friction between the horizontal surface is given which is equals to 0.15 we have to find minimum weight that should be kept upon the mass 2 to stop this m1 from moving to make this possible m2 should be greater than m1 but it is less than m1 so we have to add an additional weight on this one so we have to calculate this weight so now m1 g should be less than mu into m plus m2 that is this should be less than this total value to stop the motion we know all the values this g gets cancelled out now m1 is given 5 and mu is given 0 0.15 and m we have to calculate and m2 is given 10 kgs now if you simplify this one you will be getting m should be greater than 23.33 which is your answer now let us move on to next question in this question it is said that there is a bullet of mass 5 grams moving 
moving with velocity 100 meters per second and it penetrates the wooden block up to 6 cm this is equals to 6 cm then the average force imposed by the bullet on the block is we have to find the average force induced by this bullet on this block we know that from newton's second law force is equals to mass into acceleration and acceleration is given by v upon t and t is given by displacement upon velocity if i substitute the value of t in this expression i will be getting a is equals to v square upon x now if i substitute all the values i will be getting this value now if i substitute the acceleration value in this expression that is force we know the value of m that is given in question if i substitute here remember that the mass should be substituted in kgs and given value is in grams to convert this into kgs i have divided this with 1000 into this value now if you simplify this one you will be getting 833.33 newtons which is your final answer this is up to now we'll be discussing further topics in next class thank you for watching please share with your friends